threading a serger, it's something a lot of us are intimidated by. How do you do it? I'm going to show you how in this video. You need to make sure your spools are on all the spool cones and that your guide is fully extended and that you put your thread through all of them. Then I like to do all of my threads at once and put them through this metal guide up here just so you can have all of those done and then also put them through the tension disc. So the tension disc is right here. So you just need to sandwich it in between and you'll kind of feel it click. You'll kind of feel it give here and that's how you know that you have it through the tension guide. So we'll do all of these and the order of the threading you have to do three, four, two, one. So you're going to take all of your thread and put it through these guides here and put them through the tension discs. And I typically like to have my tension on five, four, 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 just because for some reason I noticed that when I put the first, when I put the first um, thread on five, it does seem to get a tighter stitch for your garment or for whatever else you're serging. So put all of these through and this lever here will loosen the tension, to, tension here. So you can do that, but it should go in like, Honestly, if you just kind of sandwich them in, it should work. But you can do these to start with. So the first one you need to start with is your looper thread, or three, the green one. And you're going to bring your thread down, put it through this first guide here. And this machine is color coded, so you just want to follow all the green dots or the green prompts here. See here where there's two metal guides? You actually only need to put this on the first guide. Now we've got this guy right here. Make sure to put this through here. So now you're actually going to thread this thread through this little this little finger right here. Might take you a little bit and that's why the tweezers come in handy so you can grab it from behind and sort of help it through. So that is your first looper thread done. Okay, so let's do the blue thread here and I'm going to refer to them by color just to make it easier. I think it's great that brother did color code this machine uh, because even though this doesn't have those fancy air jets or air loopers or whatever they are, I find this machine really isn't that bad to thread. All right, so we're just going to, and the path we're going to take here is going basically following this blue line here, going over here, and then we're going to actually pull this out at some point. So. this guide, both of these guys here. All right, so now you have to bring this thread under this little guide here. And then one hint, so you're gonna have to put this thread through this tiny little hole here, which you may need to like maneuver the hand wheel a little bit just to get it in a good spot. So one thing I would do is thread your needle through this little eye here. And this one's probably gonna be one of the tougher ones just because uh, it needs to, you need to make sure it's under that top finger. And what you're going to do is see this little lever here? You're going to pull this out and then you're going to actually put this thread in here in this little area where it catches all right so you need to make sure that it's make sure that it is actually caught on this little metal guide here and then you're going to push this back into the machine and make sure this thread is under this finger here and you want to make sure this thread for your upper looper, you do want to make sure it's like under the presser foot so you can just help it along there. Put your presser foot back down. So those are the two looper threads. So now we're going to move on to threading the actual needles. This is actually going to be just like threading your home machine. You start with the pink needle here and this is going to be your second needle. So just bring it through this guide. Bring it up and over here. 
make sure that it's under this metal guide here so that so that it's within this so that it's under the metal bar here and then this is actually going to go to the second needle or the needle on the right at this point I've actually turned the machine on I don't necessarily recommend this but if you have trouble seeing you're probably gonna need some light so just and you can use a needle threader or you can you know just thread it like I'm doing it whatever you or whatever works for you just use your regular method of threading a needle and I actually don't even need the tweezers at this point but I do, you do want to make sure it doesn't catch on the foot or anything like that. So now we've got, and I'm actually going to lift up the presser foot and make sure that this is under, you want all your threads to be under the presser foot. So I've got my third needle, now we just have to do the, or my second needle, now we just have to do the first one. Or the yellow one last. So again, just bring it through this guide up and over same thing as your other needle just bring it through this metal guide here your threads may get intertwined a little bit but it'll it should be okay and then you just have to thread the first needle so now you just have to thread your last needle or the one on the left i want to say actually i should say first needle because so again the order that you're threading is three four two one or green blue pink and yellow that's your order of threading I'm gonna use the tweezers and just help this along and the tweezers that come with the machine are actually very helpful so I think that's a one accessory that is definitely a necessity and again put all your threads under your presser foot so now what you want to do is close your front cover here just to protect everything inside and now we're gonna try to chain off, and this is how you'll know if your threading was successful or not. So hold your threads loosely, and then just put some, and make sure your presser foot is down. Put some, put some pressure on your foot pedal, and uh, you'll, you'll know pretty quickly, you'll know pretty quickly if there's a problem. This seems okay. All right, so now we're gonna test this out on some real fabric. This is just a knit I've got. So we are just going to try this out and this we'll see again if we are successful. All right. All right, and this is actually pretty good. You can see that this thread up here is right at the top, which is what you want. So this tension seems pretty this tension actually seems pretty right for this fabric. Obviously, I've got this on a very loose uh, stitch length because I was working on a neck band previously, so that is why it's so loose. But that is what your serger thread should look like. And that's how you thread the Brother 1034D serger. It's really not as bad as I thought it would be. As long as you follow those steps, you should be good to go. I do have a more in-depth look at this machine with some tips and lessons I've learned along the way. You're welcome to check this out. And also feel free to subscribe to this channel if you're interested in these types of videos. I do some how-tos, some tutorials, unboxings, product reviews, and the occasional funny video as well. I'm Jennifer Moore, and I will see you next time. Baby.